In this session, we'll be discussing VISIM embedded target for the TI MSP430. VISIM embedded target for TI MSP430 is software for the rapid prototyping and creation of embedded controllers for the Texas Instruments MSP430 family of microcontrollers. The software will simulate and generate scaled fixed point ANSI C code, as well as code for on chip peripherals. It supports the Softbow MSP430 evaluation boards and the Texas Instruments Kickstart boards. When you start a new MSP430 project in VISIM, there are configuration setups to let VISIM know more about the part you are using. Some configurations are optional depending on the peripherals you will be using. The MSP430 config block is mandatory for each project and should be the first one configured. You can access the configuration blocks from the pull-down menu above or the browser window pane to the left. We have highlighted the configuration blocks and will pause the session so you can view them individually. Click on the highlighted config blocks or press the button to continue the session. Depending on the CPU subtype you select, you will either see an ADC-10 or ADC-12 configuration. Selecting your source and divider determines the rate for the ADC clock. You can select your sequencing mode, sequence speed, your voltage reference, internal or external, and your sample trigger. Here you can set your sample duration. To get predictable results without an external trigger, we recommend using the ADC clock. You can then select the sample duration for each channel bank by selecting the number of sample counts. Press OK here to return to the main session. For the I2C configuration, you can select your port and your baud rate, whether it's master or slave, your transmit and receive queue length from 1 to 255. Since the MSP430 allows multiple functions on the same pin, you can select from available pins here. The MSP430 family supports multiple serial communication modules. You can select the appropriate module for your CPU subtype here. Select your clock sources here. If you selected the external U clock, you can set its frequency here. Select the device address length in bits here. Select your own bus address here. You can let the system know if there's more than one master here. If a slave, you can set the respond to general call here. Press OK to return to the main session. For the Sigma Delta configuration, you can select your clock source here, as well as the scaling or divider. Enable the internal voltage reference here, as well as enable the reference voltage available on a pin here. The MSP part specification will let you know which pin. The Sigma Delta converter will shut down in low power mode. Just start it back up when a conversion is required. In single mode, the channel is converted once per activation. In continuous mode, the channel is converted continuously. Press OK to return to the main session. 
For the serial communications configuration, you can select the port, stop bits, the baud rate, the parity, the data bits, as well as the transmit and receive queue lengths from 1 to 255. If your CPU subtype has the USCIA module, you can select it here. You can select your clock source here. Press OK to return to the main session. For the MSP430 configuration, first select your CPU subtype from the list of supported parts. Next, set up your clock sources. Based on your selected CPU subtype, you have up to three independent clock sources to set up. Two external, designated XT, and one internal, DCO. The LFXT1 oscillator supports ultra-low current consumption using a 32,768 Hz watch crystal in low frequency mode. Many MSP parts in the 2000 series also support an on-chip VLO. The LFXT1 oscillator also supports high-speed crystals when in the high-frequency mode. You can configure the internally provided load capacitors to match your external oscillator. The typical loads are listed. Here is a list of sources you can select. Based on your CPU subtype, this list can change. Depending on the CPU subtype you select, you can select bits to configure the frequency for the internal DCO here. Selecting the calibration option affects the DCO, MOD, and R cell bits. Each F2000 series MSP has a calibrated DCO and BCS register setting for specific frequencies stored in information segment A. A second external oscillator can be used in a 400,000 Hz to 16 MHz range. Leave the value zero if you are not using this one. Based on your clock setups, you can see their values here. You can select a source and divider for the auxiliary, main, and sub-main clocks here. The available sources depend on the CPU subtype selected. Here you can select clock sources for timers A, B, and the basic timer. Their availability depends on the CPU subtype. You can select six different low power modes ranging from none to turning off all clocks. As you turn off more clocks, the power consumption decreases. The 4000 series MSPs include support for liquid crystal displays. Here you can select some standard soft bow LCDs or introduce your own. See source code is provided so you can enter the segment mapping table for your LCD. You can select your leading digit here, as well as whether the digits ascend or descend in memory. Press the OK button to return to the main session. Here is an example of a fan controller constructed using Vissenblocks. blocks.